Welcome to an example of integration by substitution. Integration by substitution is a powerful integration technique when the integrand is a composite function like we have here. It's also comparable to the chain rule of differentiation. In order to perform integration by substitution, it is helpful if we know our derivative formulas. For example, taking a look at this integrand, notice how this inner function five plus x to the sixth is one degree higher than the remaining part of the integrand of x to the fifth, which means we're gonna let u be equal to the inner function of the composite function. So if we let u equal five plus x to the sixth, notice how using this equation here, this becomes the square root of u, and now we're going to find differential u, which would be the derivative of five plus x to the sixth with respect to x, times dx. So that would just be six x to the fifth dx. Now if we compare this to the integral, notice how we have x to the fifth dx, not six x to the fifth dx. What we're gonna do here is to make a perfect match, we'll divide both sides by six, which means one sixth differential u is equal to x to the fifth dx. So now using this equation, we can also perform a substitution for x to the fifth dx and write this integral in terms of u. So in terms of u, again, x to the fifth dx is equal to one sixth du. We have one sixth du. And then since five plus x to the sixth is equal to u, this is the square root of u or u to the one half as a rational exponent. Now we'll integrate in terms of u and then write the result in terms of x. So we have one sixth times, here we're going to add one to one half, it's gonna be u to the three halves, divided by three halves, which is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of two thirds, and then plus c. Next, we'll simplify this product. There's one two and two and three twos and six. So now we have one ninth, u to the three halves, but remember u is equal to five plus x to the sixth, so with the quantity five plus x to the sixth raised to the three halves power plus c. And this would be our antiderivative using u substitution.